what is going on guys, it is Maskman here, and welcome back to FTL, Fast and Light. In the last episode, um, things went a little bad. As you can see, our ship is completely trashed, uh, and Captain Maskman is no longer with us. And so, I have entrusted Jack as new captain, because I do not trust Greybeard or Shinesman Grey with their duties. So, um... We're going to, uh, try and find a store or something along the lines of somewhere around here so that I don't fucking die. Because I'd rather not have this episode be a really short one, but, uh, you never know. Uh, I could try and buy something for my ship, but it won't really help me, to be honest, right now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bad, it's looking bad for us, okay? It's looking bad for us. If I could get more shields, I would. But that's expensive shit right there. It's expensive shit. It literally would cost me 180 to get the four shield bars, plus 60 for the two more power bars. So that's uh, 200 some odd stuff that I don't have. But I could spend 90 to get a little more evasiveness. Just a little more. A little more. Just a little more. Just, just a tiny bit more. Ah, oh, boy. Might as well. Fuck it. YOLO, am I right? Actually, in this game, it is the literal YOLO. You only live once. Once you die, you're dead. That's the interesting thing about this game. Is every move you make counts. Now, I'm gonna go this way and hope somewhere on the top I find a store. What is that behind me? Alright. Let's see something. You were immediately contact contacted by settlement. Hello, travelers. Your ship seems to be outfitted for combat. Can it take up a bit of mercenary work? I, I, I really can't. I do not have the health for that situation to go down. So I'm gonna go over here and hope I find a store somewhere close. A small rebel ship is docked at a small station. You try and lay low, but it spots you. Power up the weapons. They have drones. That's, it's perfect. At least boost that up so I have a little more evasiveness. Now then. Take out their drones or their weapon system? You know what? I'm gonna have that take out the shield and have the burst laser go for the drone system. Because that's gonna be a situation for me right now. So we're gonna do that, alright? And we're gonna hope my hole stays fine for the most part. I've got these guys manning the shield and ammo station, so that should be good. We'll hope. Alright. I'm doing good. Alright. So I've taken out one of their drones. That's nice. They don't have the best weapons in the world right now. At least so it seems. So I'm gonna hope. That everything can go well. And I will... Aim that at their shield now. Since they only have one drone, that's not a big deal. So I'm gonna go straight for their shield. I can jump if I wanted to, but... Hmm. Might as well. Might as well. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that deal. I'm okay with it. Is there a store anywhere around here, though? Now then, here's my biggest question. If I go to the right, will it let me go down? I don't see why not. But if not, there's gonna be a situation, because I'll be fucked. <laughs> there's a city back there, I see. The nearby planet shows signs of habitation, right? Yeah, and great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system is looping its message into space. Warning, quarantine level 5 in effect under FHA, Act 22, Article 1112. Warning, quarantine level 5. There's some bad shit go- STORE! Thank you! Thank you! I forgot I was saving up money to buy my hole all the way back up. Which is why I was saving all that goddamn money in the first place. I, I goofed. I done goofed. But, I can fix a lot. I can still not be entirely dead. Just, slightly dead. Ugh. That's all I needed. I am fine now. I am good. I'm gonna go explore this little bottom quarter over here. Because, well, I don't know where the next... 
I'm gonna just jump to the exit and get out of this sector. Alright. Your jump leads you to nothing but empty space. This jumping in serves no mo purpose other than as a connection. <laughs> I don't need another store, yeah. Alright, I'll go to the bottom one, then go up to the right. And watch this end, end up as like the worst situation possible. Because I don't want to waste too much fuel, because I don't know when I'll get money to go fuel back up. Which is the thing. Sell drone parts. I wish I could sell 12. I wish I could sell 12. I like that. I don't use drone parts, so I'm good with that. Now I'm gonna go to this store, and I'm gonna see what I can do. Do I want to go for hull? Do I want to go for fuel and ammo? Which is probably gonna be the better situation. Hmm. So. I can't get drone control once again, because fuck me, am I right? So, we're gonna buy fuel. They have three, so I'm gonna buy all three fuel. They have three rockets. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's a good purchase right there. There we go. I'm good. I'm good. And then we're gonna go to the exit. And we're gonna sail off to Never Neverland. Am I right? I'm right. So, everything went better than arrived. You arrive in the sector and are greeted by a science vessel waiting by the beacon. They hail you. We find ourselves on low fuel and have a proposition. Now, I could take the drone parts, but I don't need the drone parts, so I'm just going to re re reject you and let you drift off into space until you die. And we go to the next sector. Now then, I said, I said to myself when I do this, I want to try and go through every kind of sector that I can. So that means I need to jump into a nebulous sector. This is extremely risky. I can find fantastic things in this sector if I'm correct. It's high risk. But if you remember why I hit a nebulas before, we're gonna be in this situation very badly. Nebulas were always a dangerous place. Many electronics fail in these clouds. You will have to tread lightly. I know, as you see, I can't fucking see anything on my ship. Now then, there are a lot of checkpoints, and I do not have a lot of fuel. I tried to get a lot of fuel, but I did kind of, I kind of wasted fuel by going to that store. So I've got to be extremely careful here, and I'm just going to do a straight cut to the exit. There is not going to be any store in here, if I'm correct. Not inside Nebula, unless it's run by... A black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of Nebula before pushing his wares. If I had scrap, I could have purchased an unknown weapon. But I've kind of fucked myself in this situation. I'm going to attack the ship in hopes of getting fuel. Oh, they have a fucking thing in there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're gonna put their crew on my ship. They're gonna put their crew on my ship. Fuck. Mmm, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Yep, they're in my ship. Alright. Gonna push you over there. Oh dear god. Please tell me there's not a hole breach. Let me check quick. Alright, we're good. We're good. There's no fire or nothing. Ha! They took out their own men. That's fantastic. Alright. Let me go for this. Oh, they went back to their ship. Alright. Everything went better than expected. I don't know who's who. Greybeard needs to go back to the shield, if I'm correct. And then you sit in there for a bit. So that you can... Oh, shit. Let me check to see if they did any... Yes, they did! They did some substantial damage. But I need to put over there. Did they just put a mine in my fucking ship? Just in case. Just in case. Alright. Now I'm still going for their shields. Even though I should probably start going for their other shit. Oh boy. Yeah, and that sounds like a fire. But I don't even much care. Their shields are fucking strong. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. 
Uh, Shine So Gray, I need you to go over there. And Burst Laces, I need to activate you. Aim at their weapon system. Because they got a big one on there. That I don't like very much. So I need you to go in there and fix the... Oh god, there's no oxygen in there at all. I need you to run. Alright, Greybeard, it's your time to shine. Over there. Alright, let's go fix shit. Oh god, the doors are kind of iffy right now. Okay, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there! You go fix the oxygen. I need you now. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Oxygen, please fix. Oxygen, please fix. Fuck! Artemis, aim for their goddamn, uh, no, their engine. I need you to aim for their engine. Things are looking very bad for me right now. Very, very bad. Very bad. You, go fix, everyone fix the oxygen. Everyone fix the oxygen right now. Except you, you need to go get some health. Oh, dear God. Oh, God, we're running out of oxygen. Yes, fuel's the big part of that. Fuel was the big part of that. Someone... Go fix the shit. Why are you standing there? I need someone to fix the oxygen! We need oxygen! Okay. Okay. As you can see, it's a little stressful here in the, uh, quarters here. It's just a little stressful. Just a little stressful. Oh, boy. Um, you know what? I need you to go heal a little bit first. And Jack, you too. You need to heal, cause dear God, I hate nebulous. Oh God, this is bad. My hull's back down to being shit, cause everyone's got better weapons than me. Cause I spend no investments in weapons. I spend all my investments on shit, which would have worked if I didn't die and I'm now a ghost taking command of my ship, helping Jack run the. There's a store. Fucking going there. I'm going there. Because I could use a lot of hole. Seeing a trade depot set up near the beacon implies there is an alien settlement on some nearby rock. You decide to check out their wares. Hmm. Oh, I have crew if I had a little more. I could sell something. Could sell an S-bomb. What did the S-bomb do again? Self-teleporting explosive damages system and crew, but not the hull. Can target your own ship. Wait, what? That doesn't make sense. Alright, so... I'm gonna sell that. Cause I don't need that shit, yo. Now then. Cuzzy, do any of these guys have any kind of... Let me see. A Mantis has double damage in combat. Alright, and they have 1 times 2 move speed. But they have halved repair speed. A guy was a slug. Telepathic powers reveal rooms and life forms even when sensors are down. But, well, hmm, that's an interesting one. Does that work inside a nebula? I'll only need to use that really once, and that's in this system. Would I spend extra money for that? Not really. So if I spend five more scrap, five more scrap, I can grab this guy, and he will help me in a battle, which can go on through the rest of the fucking game. So I'm going to grab him. Narth is his name. Gonna fix up my hole a bit. Fix up a little more. I'm running out of rockets. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Works for me. Alright! North! Go to the engine room! You're an alien! You do whatever the fuck you wanna do, you know? You know what I'm saying? You get your shit done inside my ship, cause you cool like that, you know? Alright. I'm gonna try and get as close to the exit as I can. I wanna get the fuck out of this nebula and stay away from bad situations, you know what I mean? You feel naked without fun functioning sensors. You half expect a rebel ship to appear from behind the cloud at any moment. But none come. That was pretty uneventful. Alright. Let's exit! Cause I ain't gonna risk no shit in this system. Not today. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. Ugh. With the FTL drive, when the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Continue. Once again, 
Nothing waiting on me. Next sector. Hostile or civilian? Well, this one's gonna be hostile, so I might as well go for a fucking civilian. Just blow your load on the last fucking section. Just pfft, jerk it off. Yeah, okay. Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels catch you. Oxygen is starting to fill up. We're starting to look good. Exit's over there. Um, I am running a bit low on fuel. So I do need to start embracing people and my pads. Can't do shit for him, so I gotta fight him. Because I'm cool like that. Alright. Artemis. Shield, of course. This is a very basic ship. I like that. Maybe I shouldn't use the Artemis yet. Actually, I see a really big gun, so I am going to use the Artemis. Because I don't know what that gun does, so I'm not going to risk it. And he's down at the weapons section now for their ship. But I have more evades. So that is a nice thing there that I have in touch. Alright, their shield is semi-down. Alright. Oh, that's what it is. Cancel that. Don't need to waste my rockets when I don't need to. I missed. Of course I did. And he's fixing their shield, so that's... I gotta fight him! Come on, burst laser! Come on, burst laser! I did one damage to it. I mean, that's better than nothing. Am I right? This is gonna be a really long battle, isn't it? So, uh, let me talk about what's going on here. So, um... Number one, when this comes out... This will be, uh... The day after my one year, so I'd like to thank you guys for all sticking around for a year once again. This is a nice little, little series. This is becoming one of my favorite games of all time, just because it is, you know what, fuck it, we're gonna have to use the Artemis on it. Take out their fucking shield. I'm done with it. Done with it. Artemis, take care of it. I don't like it. Nope. Boom. I missed. Really? I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. This is just gonna be a big fucking stalemate, isn't it? Unless I manage to kill that guy. Which is fairly possible. You never know. Stop recharging so fast! I need it to die. Please. Can these get through the shield at all? No. So this is just a big fucking stalemate right now until that guy... Uh, I gotta jump, don't I? More than likely, I gotta jump. I gotta jump. So I'm gonna go to this dress call. Because I fucked that one up. Way to go, me. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. Let's go investigate it. What could go wrong? You find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked. Exploring this everything, you find a lone survivor. Have him join the crew. You play off the surface for a time exchange for getting off that rock. We got Charlie! Hey, Charlie! What's going on, man? I don't know why I have you on my ship. Do you have any kind of special things for you? No, you're not trained at all. You're just fucking there. Okay, so, uh... Wow, that guy grew on that shit quick. Alright. Um... I guess you'll just be a handyman around the ship. Unless you can go over here and make us evade more. I mean, is that possible? I can sell you, probably. <laughs> I can trade you off. I don't know, fucking something. Why is my... Why? I've never repaired my fucking doors. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Why did no one tell me... Why did you guys not tell me this? Why did you not scream through the screen at me telling me to fix my fucking doors? Actually, you probably were, so... Uh, welcome back. Um... Thank you. I'm now paying attention to you. I can now see telepathically where my how my doors are doing. Uh, they're not doing well. This is my repair guy. He's my repair guy since, I mean, Jack is the mechanic. He can repair shit fast, but he's already got so much experience in the ship that, you know, fuck it. I'm going to make this guy my new captain. Charlie, you're captain now since Jack is actually made to be a repair guy. So let's jump. Store and store. Let me go to a fucking store, though I have no money. 
A transmission from a nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travelers. You send down an away party and check it out. Well, hmm. I have no money to buy anything. So, what I've got to hope is I get in a big battle. And I get plenty of money from this next ship. Hello, travelers. You seem to be outfitted for combat. No, come on. I need something big to fucking happen. I need something to go wrong, essentially. I need people to fucking die. Attack the pirate. I don't even care what the fuck you got on your ship. I'm going to attack your shit. <laughs> With just a burst laser. Yes, just a burst laser. Oh, boy. Well, come on, burst laser. You, you, can, you can man up. Come on. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, this is gonna suck really bad. I know it is. I know it is. I know I'm basically doomed now. I'm ru I've run out of fuel. I may have to sell my Artemis to get fuel to move along. This this sucks. I won't lie. This sucks pretty bad. I'm gonna jump. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna go over here, and then go back to the store. And we're gonna see how this goes. There's nothing there. Well then, Mr. Store. How you doing? I get to sell my Artemis. My burst laser's worth a lot more. If I sell my burst laser, I can buy rockets. But if I run out of rockets... <laughs> oh, fuck me. Because my burst laser is not going to do shit. Let's face it. That is not going to get through an enemy shield at this point in the game. It's sold. Now then. Look who's got to get fuel. Fix one, might as well. God damn, that sucked. This sucks. This, as you can see, guys, this playthrough is not going so well for my first time in this. So, uh, yeah, this is a bad situation for me. This may be the last part by the time we. Yeah, Ranger Long Ring Beacon. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to engage your ship. Demand the surrender of your goods. They're trying to escape. Don't need to worry about shields, because I go right through their shields. Why do they have robots? Oh, those are drones to protect their ship. That's interesting. Alright. Mr. Drone, stop it. Stop it. So apparently I didn't need to buy that fifth member of my team, so that's beautiful. Alright. Their shields are down a little bit. I'm not going to have enough to attack them, alright. Am, am I? I'm not going to be able to hurt their ship enough. I want your surrender! Don't realize they're out of ammo. Well. I guess I gotta jump, huh? The last stand. Achievement unlocked, Federation base in range. Achievement unlocked, Technophobia. You arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. Your access codes get you past initial security and a direct fleet feed to the capital ship's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Terzla of the NG Brigade speaks up. 
Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy feet. The rebel flagship. Tully responds. It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. We will refuel your ship now, and your stations will op and now and our stations will offer help wherever possible. Good luck. So I have fuel, uh, but I have no shit <laughs> on my ship. So is this where I am? It is, and the rebel flagship is over there. Now. I literally have no way to get money unless I fuck with someone. So I'm gonna go to this repair station. Oh my god, thank you, Lord Jesus. A forward construction station is in the process of repairing damaged warships. Your command code has convinced them to do a quick patch job on your ship. They gave me fuel, missiles, and drones. Alright. They're headed right there. Alright. Jumps until the flagship is in range. Hmm. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna investigate shit, you know? A few scattered heavy vessels are left to defend nearby Federation settlement. They seem to be in the process of evacuation. Okay, that ain't good. I don't know where he's going. But he gon' fuck some shit up, if you know what I'm saying. As soon as you arrive at the, be at the beacon, a rebel scout turns to engage. Power up your weapons. Sweet. Um, I'm gonna take out your weapon system, because you got quite a few on your ship. Alright, you know what? Well, I don't need to worry about your shield. I go straight through your shield now that I don't have any fucking weapons. <laughs> All I have is an Artemis. With nothing else. So, uh, that's good. That's dandy. Repair! Over oh no, repair the health section, so hey, that's uh... Really, that's not good. I need that to go. Oh god, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there! Repair that, Jack! Okay, you apparently don't like that. Wow! Oh my god! This is bad! Um, I need you to repair that, Jack. I need you over here quick for me. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Oh, God. This is bad. I need to get shit from their ship, though. Oh, God. Get out of there. They're going right through my fucking shield. This is not good. This is not good. Artemis, power up. Artemis. Fire her on something of theirs. Oh dear God, Joe ja Graybeard! D oh God! Oh no! Oh no! Jack, go over there. This is bad. No, no, I need to fight. I have no more weapons. Okay, this isn't good, is it? This is not good. My health station. I need to fix it. My weapons. I need to fix them. Well, jump to the repair station, quickly, please, oh god. Guys, I think it's bad to say that, uh, this may be it. This might be the end for us, ladies and gentlemen. I do thankfully have rockets, but that is about all I have, and I cannot afford to miss with a rocket anymore. Jack, go in there, help him out, help him fix shit. Oh boy. I'm sorry Jack, you need to be over there now. Uh, oh, I need to power back up my fucking shields. God damn it. Damn it, Shenzhen Gray, get over there. Heal up a little bit. Come on, Artemis. Come on, Artemis. You're all I've got. You're all I've got. 
You're all I've got. You know, I really want to get shit done. I fucking die. And I am now out of ammo. Well, guys, um... Pretty sure it's safe to say that, uh... The ship's going down. We're gonna run this through to the end. There's, uh... A small scout of ship. I can't jump yet. I can't attack yet. I can't do anything. I literally can just sit here, twiddle my thumb in my ass, and uh, hope for the best. So, how you guys doing? Um, don't worry, this isn't going to be an end of this series. I'm probably going to come back soon with uh, a little more of uh, this game. Probably going to put on a new ship. Uh, there's a fire. I'll just put it out. Why not? I'm gonna go try and jump to the, uh, jump to the bad guy's ship, because, uh, he's gonna be in there waiting for me. And I might as well look at the ship while I'm waiting on it. Rofleet has found you. And they're gonna fight me. Oh, that's, that's not good. Everyone, to your battle stations! Even you, uh, Charlie. Let's get ready to fight some motherfuckers. And they literally shot their own ship. I'm gonna need to close that because those doors are still open. So, uh. Oh, that's, 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 that's nice. So, hey. Everyone's dead. Someone died. Well. Oh, oh, that's, that's bad. That's bad. Hey, Charlie, you need to, you need to go fix the brig now. Because I actually want to go to that ship. But we may be fucked here. Oh, no, I can't, I can't put that up anymore because they brew my fucking shield. Okay. No, it's good. Oh. Well, one last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Score, 1829. New high score. Stats. Oh, those are my other runs. Okay, I don't need, you don't need to see those. Okay, okay. So, well, that was the end of the journey of the crew of the phallus. Now then, I love this game so much, I will try and make this a reoccurring series with new ships, new crew, all that kind of stuff. Try and make things a little different with this game. But, that'll have to wait until next time. So I'll see you guys then. But until then, this has been Maskman, logging off.